All right, welcome back to the No Morning Show here on CTT. What an amazing Friday morning it has been thus far. I hope you all have been enjoying it. And Terry Andrews, good morning to you. And of course, your adventure crew. And it's a sapodilla. Love sapodillas. So, yeah, I was eating that on set just now. But we have two beautiful ladies in studio with us. They have no sapodilla with them, but I'm sure that they bring us something sweeter to the table this morning. Uh, so, let me say good morning to Sasha Bernard. Hey, Sasha, <laughs> and of course, Melissa Jimenez. 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 Yeah. Spanish. It's Spanish. Yeah. Oh. Uh, buenos dias, uh, <laughs> buenos dias, Melissa. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Uh, bien. Uh, ¿Cuándo you eh? <laughs> going no, to have no, this? Don't, don't do it, Natalie. Just don't even do it. ¿Cuándo <laughs> you eh going to have this gospel awards day? All right. So at least you all have an idea of what we're going to be talking about. Of course, CTT will be broadcasting the Gospel Awards. Who knew? Who knew? But there's a Gospel Music Awards, and both of you are here to tell us about it. So how did this concept come about of a Gospel Music Awards? I'll pass that over to Sasha. All right, Sasha, <laughs> talk to me. Hit me up. Okay, so um, basically the, the concept of the Gospel Music Awards of Toronto Tobago that's hosted by Sealand International is to uh, showcase the uh, local gospel industry, the brilliance of it, the diversity of it. So the first installment of the Sealand's version of the awards was actually uh, four years ago. Mm. So, um, and we've been having it annually ever since. That is amazing. So, you, can you tell me about the categories? Because, I mean, even though it's gospel. <laughs> uh, all right. She, she, her look, her body language told me that, Everything's that really Sasha, <laughs> that I am back to you. So, talk okay. to us what categories, you know, because I know even though the genre is gospel, mm -hmm. I've seen so the diversity in the music. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, usually, um, for the first three Three years, we had um, specific categories. So we would have like male artist of the year, female artist, song of the year, music video of the year, uh, collaboration of the year. We even had a regional artist of the year. Um, I think there were about, let's say, maybe 13 to 16 categories. However, for this year, we did it a little differently because, I mean, 2020 was not a regular year. So the Gospel Music Awards uh, for 2021 actually recognized the work of 2020. So what we did is we had resilience awards. So all the awards were on the same level. And it was just recognizing those who would have uh, still made an impact and still contributed despite what the entire world would have gone through yeah. in 2020 with the pandemic. And do people normally come out? How, how does one become a part of the awards? Do they have to get like a voting process and people choose them or just once you're a gospel artist? Uh, no, definitely. So we have um, a nomination process where um, they can be nominated. And then from there... Uh, they are judged by an elite panel of judges right. and um, you know it's it's a very um, strict process I would say not right. just you know yeah. anybody all right <laughs> so <laughs> Melissa I ask a hard question. yeah I, now for me every time we have an award ceremony of any kind around the world you know whether it's the Grammys it's, it's hosted by the people who are responsible for the industry is it that Cillian is a, a what is the role of Cillian in the in the gospel music industry that gives you the credibility to be able to host the awards um, can I call a friend so Ceylon is actually a non-profit organization um, geared to youth. Um, so initially in the first stages, um, Ian Hayward is actually the founder of the, the non-profit and um, it was focused on sport and culture. Um, but all of us, um, I'm saying us, all the volunteers or the committee members of the organization are actually um, of a Christian background. So naturally, the progression was that we yeah. would be drawn towards the gospel music. And yeah. I mean, there was a, there was a gap. There was a, a need. And yes. Yeah, we, 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 and, and you know what? It's nice for people to be shown appreciation and yeah. recognized Definitely. and awarded yeah. for their contributions in whatever sphere in life. So I'm happy so to, to see this. So to pivot off of her answer yeah. for Rokas's sake. So this is where Music TT sort of comes in um, mm -hmm. just beyond a sponsor in that we will be working with Celia and a lot more in terms of making sure that their, their um, structures are streamlined with that internationally so that when questions like this come up, we'll right. definitely be able to say, yeah, we're on par with the rest of the world. So or you can just call a friend. I, it, or yeah. you can just call a friend. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Melissa, so talk to us about for this year, how Music TT got involved and you know what that partnership and collaboration looks like. 
So let me backtrack a little bit because somebody always says they don't know what Music TT is or who mm -hmm. we are. So we are a state agency under the Ministry of Trade and Industry and our mandate is business development and export activity of the music sector. Mm -hmm. So that said, this partnership is perfectly aligned for us. Right. So we've been working with them for the past two years. This is the third year um, and this capacity we came on as a sponsor through our live music district. So their event was the first live event that we would have had for the 2021. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, yeah, we were really, really happy to hear about the Resilience Awards because we were like, oh, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? <laughs> and um, Gospel Music Awards last year was the last event that the gospel industry saw. So, you know, it's like it, it's something that everybody looks forward to now. Yeah. So, so we're really glad that they were able to and pull it off. How, how are you able to organize that in a pandemic? <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah. Um, there were challenges, of course. I mean, there are challenges regardless of wh whether we're in a pandemic or not. Um, for us, though, there were two main things. The first is that usually the process of planning GMAT starts from September of the previous year. But because of the uncertainty of, you know, the world, um, we did not begin planning. But with the um, allowances, we you know the 50% the capacity in venues, um, it was actually only in January we decided to have the event. Yeah. So because of that, um, a lot of the pre-work that have, would have been done, like reaching out to sponsors, partners, um, it was not able to be done as, um, as lengthy as we would have liked. So that was a challenge um, in, in actually pulling it off. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, it came off. And brilliantly, yeah, brilliantly. <laughs> yes. All right. Even if we say so ourselves. <laughs> so yes. tell us when it will be broadcast this Sunday on TTT. Yes, this Time. Sunday at eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on TTT. All right. So tell us what we can look forward to. Now. I mean, we don't like no puss in bag. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't want to be the one to bust up these secrets. I feel like we should tell them to watch it to know. Yes. Yeah, no, we yes. should be want them to watch so that they could see. <laughs> but there are. I mean, the show was amazing. Melissa was right. Brilliant is the word to describe it. It was great. Um, the diversity of the industry came out. I mean, it was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm just going to let Melissa. Well, speak I, 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 so, so, so people voted for the artist so that they could, you know, and then you yes. all decide who be, is it. Is it just going to be based on votes, or is there some judging on the night itself? Um, no, so the judging is done uh, before the show. So on the night of the show, we already have an idea of, well, not an idea, we already know who the winners are. Um, so this year, they were nominated. Um, and then the panel of judges looked at uh, their biographies, um, their body of work for 2020, and mm -hmm. then determined um, which of them, um, I guess, were... I don't want to say most deserving because everyone is deserving, but which of them went the extra mile, the extra effort, uh, despite the challenges of 2020. Right. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sounding interesting. Brilliant, you see. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And, and I'm proud of, I'm proud of um, music TT. I see we have fashion mm -hmm. TT, we have music TT, but just stepping out and giving young people that space or talent, let me put it that way, talent and skill, that space that they can develop themselves. And so thrive. that's definitely good. So, Sunday night, 8 p.m., T-T-T. Correct. Do you all need anybody from the Now Morning Show? Rockus is available. The show's already recorded, Mom. It's already recorded. It's going to air. I don't know. You all need anybody from the Now Morning Show? You think we need to slip them in? You know what, though? Um, <laughs> one thing they, they have done with the Now Morning Show, actually, is they've been giving us the guests that we've been using to do the Inspiration Now segments. Yeah, big so up all of the performers stuff. and stuff, they've been, you know, a part of the gospel yes, music circuit. We appreciate and, uh, that. We're very grateful for yeah. all of them who've been coming through to perform. We have one more on set today, actually, so we look forward to that so. coming up inside this hour. And uh, you're finished? Up, no, I you? want to. I want to ask <laughs> Melissa. Yeah, we're going to the break, Carlos. That's Melissa wanting. You can get the higher level, please. Yo, can we go to our break, please? And when we come back, we have the higher level on set. I'm not able with this woman, no. She not able. Of, I'm not able. Why are you this way? Why, why are you this way? <laughs> 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 True story.